just uh, uh, getting anxious here. I'm, I'm sure like everybody else, uh, I think we're uh, looking uh, today will be our, our uh, 17th practice uh, of our, th our 17th day of our 30s. So uh, we're getting closer here and uh, been uh, been pleased for the most part um, to this point to just, um, you know, trying to deal with uh, the mix and then the newcomers. You know, we have uh, our 15 on our roster, we have 10 returners, five newcomers, which you know, it's a pretty good number, except the, the biggest difference this year is pretty much our entire front line is new. And um, that's what we're just trying to balance the challenge of that, of getting our front line on the same page with our guards and at the same pace, same speed um, as our guards. So, um, you know, that's basically a challenge right now. Um, and it'll, it'll take a while, but I think once it all falls into place, I think we'll be, I think we'll be fine, hopefully, by the time conference rolls around. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from Jonesboro, Arkansas. Caller, please identify yourself and go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, it's Matt Robertson with The Sun. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. Thanks. Um, obviously, you guys were picked first in the Sun Belt, so you got the target on your back. Uh, how do you feel about the, that, that pick and, and where you guys, uh, I guess, are looked at by the rest of the league? Well, I think it's fun. Uh, you know, I, I think it's exciting. I, I think the players enjoy that, and, and they get excited about it. And um, uh, but now all the, all the work's ahead of us, you know, to to try and, and accomplish that. And um, you know, one of the, one of the messages I've had with this team from day one is is, is I've told them that I, I, in my opinion, the best team will not win the conference this year. Uh, I think the most durable, uh, the most consistent. Uh, that's going to be the team to win this league this year because of the fact it's a 20-game schedule. Um, you have two different weeks where you're going to play on a Thursday, Saturday, Monday. Um, so I think I think um, you know whoever comes out on top this year, it's going to come down to that. It's just a consistent play, night in and night out, uh, day in and day in. Um, you know who's going to be the most durable through all of that and, and a lot of the travel that's going to be involved. Yeah, I think whoever handles that the best is going to be the team that comes out on top. You know, being the favorite, um, and just curious as far as your team's personality, do you feel like you have the makeup uh, to, uh, of girls that can handle that role or that relish that role as the favorite? Yeah, I think we'll be fine with that. I think, um, you know, again, you're, when you're talking specifically returners, I think uh, one of the things, you know, I stated last year that I, I was most proud of the accomplishment last year winning the league was not only winning it, but the fact that we led it from for 18 games. You know, we led it from start to finish. And, and you know, maybe that experience will carry over this year, too, and the fact that, you know, we we were in first from, from day one last year. And, and, you know, I thought our players, well, we had some ups and downs through it. I think for the most part, they handled that really well. And, um, you know, it carries over into now, too, to where, again, you if, you know, you're picked first and, you know, so it, you kind of start off where you ended it last year. Obviously, you, you said you'd had about 16 practices. How, just how's your team looking? What what have you picked up on over these uh, last couple of weeks as far as the team, team is? Well, I think it really basically what I thought would happen, you know, our, our guards, you know, our returners, you know, are, are, are playing well. They've, uh, they've made improvements, you know, gamble. Um, you know, I, you know she's as good as she was last year. I think she's improved this year. Um, you know, Hannah Kadan, you know, was out uh, all off season with another shoulder surgery, or I guess now her fifth uh, shoulder surgery. But in the last week, I'm really starting to see Hannah come back to being the old Hannah. Um, uh, you know, she's really starting to come into her own a little bit. Um, still the one, and I think I said this to you, Matt, or the, the week or so before, that you know, clearly the most improved player on this team is Khadijah Brown Haywood, and she is um, from where she was last year, where she is now. She is impacting our practices, and you know we're trying to play her at a couple different positions just to make sure she's on the floor. So you know, she's doing well. Um, you know Amanda Lawson, who sat out last year as a redshirt transfer and sat out last year, um, she was able to practice with us, and, and she's a real talent. And it's it's been good to see her. And she she was good last year, but she also the reality was she wasn't going to play. So you were just kind of a lot of times just putting in your your time each day in practice, and you can tell there's a difference with her this year, and that there's a real more of a purpose in what she's trying to do. 
Um, obviously, your, your big concern is, is that front court with all the newcomers. How, how is your front court developing uh, just these first couple of weeks? Well, we've still got a ways to go there, um, a ways to go. I think, you know, of course, we've got uh, Jasmine Hunt, a senior, you know, returner. I am really pleased with what she's doing. Uh, I think, you know, you're starting to see her confidence because I think she's sensing that, you know, we're going to have to depend on her early. And, uh, you know, we're starting to see her grow as a player. But, you know, also part of, um, you know, until these freshmen can come along, you know, part of what, you know, we I've shifted Khadijah, you know, to play more of a forward position as opposed to guard. So that has helped us there, too. It gives us a little more experience, you know, on the front line. And I guess lastly, you're one week away from your first exhibition, so the season's coming up on you pretty quick. Do you feel like you're ready for an exhibition and, and pretty close to season ready? Yeah, we'll be we'll be ready by the time next week rolls around. Uh, you know, again, will we be ready to, to play a game that counts? No, but we'll, we'll be ready to play and uh, kind of get a gauge of where we're at. And it'll, it'll, you know, I think it's always fun, to, especially with your newcomers, just get them on the court for that first time and, and see how they react. And, uh, and uh, you know, as, as kind of the theme with what we try to do with scheduling is, I'll remind these players that these two exhibition games, uh, these two teams were playing in exhibitions. They may be better in some of our regular season tournaments. <laughs> Truman State was you know, NCAA tournament last year, and, and Hardy, you know, they, they, they may contend for a national championship this year, Division Two. So uh, they'll, it'll be really good exhibition games for us. They'll really you know, challenge us. It'll be good. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for one final question from uh, Joshua Parrott. Josh, please go ahead. Yes, good morning, Coach. was wondering if you could uh, share your thoughts on the newcomers uh, in the league itself and, and just how you maybe see them impacting uh, just the landscape of the league this season and maybe moving forward. Well, again, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, you know, I even go back, you know, I, uh, uh, it's been, uh, I think I played against the Georgia Southern several, several years ago in a tournament, but it's been a while back. But, um, you know, just looking at, um, you know, the returners, the talent that they have back, the numbers, you know, from a number standpoint and the and the, the stats that are coming back, you know, both of these teams in Georgia Southern and Appalachian State, uh, you know, they, they appear to be teams that are going to be able to come in and compete uh, right away. And uh, you know, especially Appalachian State with, uh, you know, the, the talent uh, that they have uh, returning, um, you know, I, I think it's be good. And I also think, too, you know, you, you take it a step farther. I, I think our league um, has an opportunity to be better this year. I, I go across the board in the league, and, and I can't see why every team in the league won't be better than they were last year, you know, unless it, unless it would be us. <laughs> you know, because I, I think everybody else has, you know, has, has made improvements. Uh, you know, you had some coaching changes last year, and now they're another year into it. They've got their system, their players in. And uh, I think it's going to be uh, – I, I think our league has a chance to be much better this year than it was last year. Coach, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.